Hello, in this recording I'm going to show you how to replace a head like I did in the um, when you use the selection tool to select an area around the head and then erase it. But in this in this one I'm going to show you how to select how to, how to use the masking tool to how to use masking to get rid of some uh, the, uh, a person well to switch ahead. So uh, I have a picture here in Bridge. I'm going to use this image right here of me and I'm going to open this up by in camera on right clicking on it and choosing open in camera raw. As I open in camera raw I look at this and and I want to compare it with what I have over here in Photoshop. See how the light is on, on the side there's a harsh shadow on this side. Well when I took this picture I tried to make it so we had a harsh shadow. In fact, I'm going to go back and look at this right here. See how harsh these shadows are right here? A little bit too harsh. This one isn't as harsh, but I think it needs to be changed just a little bit. So I'm going to change in camera raw. I'm going to change the exposure just a little bit. I'm going to bring it up and I want to do a fill light just a little bit, just to, so I have a little more light on this side. And you can see that um, right here I've washed out my head just some of that color information I'm just going to recover it by dragging that recovery slider uh, we could go through and use all these tools in in um, camera raw but I'm not going to do that right now I'm just going to click on open image so it opens the image in Photoshop um, now after it opens in Photoshop uh, I, I need to get rid of this green area right here but I don't want to use the selection tool. I just want to get rid of it by dropping my head. I'm dropping it on this guy right here. Um, somebody, Gibson, somebody's telling me that's what his name is. And so I'm going to just uh, use my move tool. And I'm going to drag. Oh, i got to unlock the layer first. Why didn't I think of that? I'll just leave it that label. I mean that layer zero. Now I dra drag to that tab and I'm going to let and I'm going to drag in here I'm going to let go. And notice how huge my head is. That's because I took a pretty high res image of my head. I'm going to use the control minus to zoom out. And I'm going to go control T so I can see the bounding box so that I can uh, grab one of the corners and shrink myself down. So I'm going to start dragging. Now remember when you drag, you can end up squishing yourself, changing the aspect ratio. If you hold down the shift key, Notice that when I hit the shift key, it goes back to the correct aspect ratio of my head. I'm going to do this a couple of times until I am about the same size as that fellow right there. I'm going to go control zero to go full view. And my head, I tried, I like to get my, um, I like to get my head to match up with the person that I'm trying to replace. So I'm going to rotate right there just a little bit. Notice that shadow is a little harsh right here but I did turn my head kind of the same that this guy, the Shia, is that Shia LaBeouf or whatever? I'm gonna get my head so it's turned just the same distance but I don't think my head, I think my head's a little too big so I'm gonna just shrink a little more. Now I think my head might be about the same size. I'm gonna go just a little bigger. After I'm happy with the size. In fact, I'm going to I'm going to go on the opacity. I'm going to see through me just a little bit and check my chin and my teeth and my eyes. I, I think that's pretty close. I'm going to go up a little higher so we can see that a little better. That's pretty close. Everybody's face has a little different shape, so it's hard to get a perfect match. I think my head might be just a little bit too big still, so I'm going to Shrink that down a little bit. That well, looks about right. Okay, I'm going to bring the opacity back to 100%. I'm going to hit enter to accept those changes. Now comes the magic of what we're going to do. I'm going to apply that. Um, I'm going to click on this button right here where it says add layer mask. I'm going to click on that. And using lay, uh, layer mask is a little bit tricky it's kind of but it's very easy it's non-destructive that means you can go back and change anything really easily um, but first of all what I want to do is make these sure make sure these two colors here are black and white and to do that I just hit the D 
and that chooses the default colors. That's why it says D. And you need to remember a couple things. When, when, we, when I clicked on layer mask, it gave me this, it's kind of like a sheet of paper that if I color it black, it'll make it so I can see through it. But if I color it white, it makes it so I can't see through it. So the, whatever I have on this layer, it's uh, white, so I cannot see through me right here. So I'm going to use a brush, this brush tool right here, and I'm going to switch these colors. I can switch these colors by clicking on that button or hitting the X on my keyboard. Now I'm going to hit the X on my keyboard again. Now it's black. Now I'm going to increase the size of the brush because I just want to brush around me. <coughs> Excuse me. So notice as I paint, it... Uh, it colors it black. I'm actually, I'm painting on this layer, but it, the black that I'm painting doesn't show up on the, um, in the canvas here. And that's because I'm painting on a layer mask. Notice that circle that I painted around my head. You can see through it now. So the black has revealed the layer underneath, as long as I'm painting on there. You have to make sure you're painting on the mask and not right on the, right on the picture, because now if I if I paint right on the canvas, then uh, it, you know, it paints black. So I'm going to control Z to undo. And I'm going to go back and click on this layer mask. And I'm going to continue to paint right here. Now, as I get close to my head, I have, I have kind of a fuzzy edge to this brush. And um, I need to make it a little harder. The hardness is all the way to zero. I'm going to bring the hardness up to about 75% uh, or so. And I'm going to change the size of it. And then I'm going to use the zoom tool. And I'm going to zoom in on my head. And hold down the space bar. I'm going to just move it over. I'm going to zoom in a little better, a little closer. Now I'm going to use that brush again. Now I'm on 356%. I'm just going to go Control plus 1 to get it 400%. It's good to work on, um, on like, <coughs> on 100, 200, 300%, because then you, get, you can see the pixels better. So now I'm just going to paint on the layer mask. I'm going to paint around uh, my head. Now, notice I, I kind of painted across the neck, and I, I didn't really want to do that, but I'm going to switch the colors by click painting, I mean, by clicking on the X. And I'm going to fill in my neck again right there. So white re conceals the layer underneath, but I'm going to hit X now. And black, I change that paintbrush to black. Black conceals it. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm noticing that I need to move my head over a little bit. And I probably should just tilt my head just a little bit. So I'm going to do a little tilt right there. And then accept that. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'm going to go back here to the paintbrush. I'm going to continue to paint over that green part around me. Just kind of go around it really quick. Now, of course, you could, like we did in the last lesson, you could just go ahead and um, delete that green like we did in the last lesson. But I, but in this lesson, I'd like you to use the, um, the layer mask. Now, notice how when I'm getting into this little corner of my ear, oh, just above my ear, I, I uh, made the brush smaller. That's just so that I can control that area better. I still have this whole area that I can erase. Uh, let me go smaller again so I can just kind of... Now remember, I'm not erasing anything. I'm just painting black on the layer mask. Let me paint right over this right here. Now my head is turned a little bit more than the, the subject who I'm covering. So I, I'm going to have to do a little bit of work to to make it look better. I'm going to get rid of that green, some of that green in my hair. And you know, you can give yourself a little haircut and make your hair look a little smoother. Now, I do have a problem here. His ears are bigger than mine. So I'm going to go to that background layer and I'm going to unlock it. I'm also going to um, duplicate the layer by just dragging it down here. I could also do Control J. Uh, so there we have his head and I want it, his ear to disappear. So I'm going to use this um, the rubber stamp tool, the clone stamp tool, and I'm going to reduce the size with that left bracket next to the P, and 
Now I'm going to hold down my Alt key and I'm going to choose a source. And I'm going to paint from that source. So I want that white. I want this white to I'll be white down here. So I'm going to do keep grabbing the source right here and then painting a little bit and then grab the source a little more and paint because I want to get rid of his ear. Oh, low side did a little went a little too far up. I'm going to just get rid of that a little bit. So I'm going to continue to do that. Now let's see what it looks like with my head over it. <clears throat> I, I probably need to erase more of his head, don't I? So I'm going to just keep doing this. I'm going to... Oh, well, I made a little mistake there. That's okay. We'll just keep painting. I'm just hitting Alt and then painting. Alt, paint. And we get kind of this weird pattern right here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to select this area over here and use that as my source. And that's going to be a lot easier to erase this area. So I'm going to once again choose that over there and just cover the dude's head a little bit. Let's see if I've covered enough. Almost. I need to go just a little bit more right here. Let me grab some of that. Get a little bit more. All right. <clears throat> now I need to get rid of this right here. So I'm going to use some of the green from here. Just paint over this area right here because we don't want that to be there. A little more. I'm going to grab some of this red. Cover that ear. Let's see. It's pretty much all gone. I'm just going to grab a little bit right there. All right, now he's hidden for the most part. Oh, he has still some at the top of his dome there. Uh, just paint. I'm pretty much done with that. All right, now I'm going to go back to my paintbrush and make sure that my layer mask is selected and I'm going to paint it black so we can reveal the collar. So it looks like we've got a collar here. And that's looking all right. Holding the space bar down to drag, I'm just going to finish the collar. Oops, I'm going to undo that last part. Let's paint right there. I don't want to go any further right there. Ooh, do I have more? Oh, i got more neck i got to get rid of. So I'm going to use the rubber stamp tool, the clone stamp tool, and then I'm going to come in here and just paint over this. Notice I'm painting on this layer, so I'm, I'm painting where I can't see. There's a little mark right there I'm going to grab. There we go. Well, now... Uh, ooh, looks like I painted in my neck a little too far, didn't I? So I'm going to go back to this layer and I'm going to exchange the colors, use the brush tool. I'm going to paint in my neck a little bit so my neck doesn't look all like it disappeared. Now let's go zero, control zero to look about. And uh, that looks pretty good. It's probably not the best job I've ever done on something like this. But uh, it does look like I'm in the picture. The lighting looks okay. The color looks good. The shadow looks pretty good, pretty authentic. I'm happy with it. So go ahead and do this and have fun.